and welcome on the most determined soul cj barry and we are going to be working on the hori wrap the real arcade pro hayabusa i have to I'm probably saying that wrong but i'm okay with saying it. i'm okay i'm perfectly fine with saying it completely wrong and you guys can correct me in the comment below and there it is we're going to be working on this particular arcade stick on today i'm really really excited about working on it so let's put this over here on the floor uh, real fast as we get ready to work on it because i want to talk about it just just a tad um talk about like right what it costs right now and what exactly we're going to be doing today so as you see as if you you can get it used for about a uh, 174 bucks uh, right now um or you can get 298 i think the highest i seen right now is 999.99 at walmart but just just going off of this i uh, looking looking for um the the wrap right now here it is i think this is the most i as expenses as expensive as it got and then um let's see what it looks like on amazon amazon hori uh, wrap boom there it is let's see how much it costs on amazon and on amazon oh it doesn't even give a price it's just like yo yo we're out of stock we don't even got a price for you so they decommissioned this particular stick and we won't be able to get other ones so you probably only can get it used at this point let's see oh this is 311 311 that's not bad that's not bad i've seen more expensive sticks in my time but uh there there, there you got it you you understand where we're at but my friend my friend here he was like bro i got a really really good i got a really good deal on my arcade stick i got it for 120 bucks i was like what you got it for 120 bucks he's like yeah yeah i got it for 120 bucks i was like okay yeah that's a that's a really good i good deal and i can't argue with you on that so let's talk about this a little bit what do you need what do you need what do you need um you i always have these little pocket knives i have a gerber these gerbers are like really really useful and handy boom put that i always have two because i always lose one and i end up having like four of them but make sure you have a gerber it has all the tools you need in general then get a screwdriver because you want you want a long screwdriver boop put that right here um you want an allen wrench um boom there it is right there this is the one that i'm using i think it's too small but i, I did some pre-work so and then after that uh, what i'm going to be using this time to actually clean this bad boy up i'm going to be using some shoe cleaner i might have a few q-tips i mean of course you're going to have q-tips and stuff two plus two is four right and then you're going to have your handy dandy toothbrush my toothbrush is a little wet because i wanted to soak it because the bristles were hard boom a toothbrush a regular brush i'm not i'm not going to put it's wet no you know, i'll put it on there boom it a regular brush and then um i oh and a brush to dry a lot of that stuff of course you're going to have a towel make sure you have your towels and stuff like that but that in general is what you need This is what we're going to be cleaning here. We're going to be cleaning this Hori Hayabusa, a real arcade pro. I've already did a little bit of the taking apart, but there's other parts that I'm going to be undoing as I am doing this with you. I just took apart the harder parts so that we can get a better understanding of this arcade stick. So like the like this part right here, we're going to take all these screws out and we're going to put them over here. I'm going to let these bad boys soak. I'm gonna, they're not gonna rust. Or if you're like, your, your, your screws, they're gonna rust. No, they're not gonna rust. It rusts if it stays in there for a long period of time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these screws uh, alongside with a couple other screws and I'm gonna put them in a little boom, container and I'm gonna put a little, see this container right here? It has water in it already. And I'm gonna put a little bit of solution in here. Boop, 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 boop. Put a little bit of solution let that soak and then we can clean those we could clean even the screws here to make it look really nice you got stung on your toes that sucks oh, <laughs> that's weird 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take, we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, we cannot do anything. That's when I think, and I'm doing this on purpose, guys. I'm, I'm wanting to show you like a lot of mistakes people make uh, using these particular, um, these particular arcade sticks. And one of the first mistakes they try, people try to unscrew one part and they rip it off, and you're like, yo. What what are you doing? And and they end up damaging their their arcade stick. So you can't get it off. You got to undo everything, and we're gonna undo it by flipping it over like this, and unscrewing everything that we got. So that's where this daggon screwdriver comes into play. And remember, um, I don't have, with this one. I don't, I'm not gonna. These are fairly clean, so I'm not gonna put it in solution or anything like that. But um, for you guys out there that are doing this for the first time, make sure you have a little little bucket or something like that to put your screws in. Make sure you have a little button, bucket to put your screws in uh, because you don't wanna lose none of the screws. All right, now, so here we are. We got all the screws off. We're able to take these bad boys, this bad boy off, and let's see what's on the other underside. And I think this is a thing that everybody wanted to see. What's on the underside of the Hori arcade stick this real arcade pro i'm gonna put this metal plate down on the ground here but as you see there's nothing to it now here's the trick this is the trick that i advise a lot of people to do don't just take the cords off take a picture so you know exactly where they go back to so we got we got the we got the red we got the orange we got the yellow i'm gonna take a picture of this so i know exactly where each cord goes back to that's what's the color is that that's yellow yeah that's what that's what you need to do take a picture of the cords so you know exactly where they go back to so that's gray right there let me move right I'm, I'm taking multiple pictures at that just in case I don't get the the right angle and I know exactly where it goes that's really really important and it saves you a lot of time don't be that guy don't be that guy again don't be that guy to damage your arcade stick because you mislabeled or misplaced your cords all right so now this one this uh we're going to start with this side we're going to take off take the cords out or the wires out of the lever boom just like that you can replace this lever that's not that hard we're not going to do anything with the PCB right here. That's what this, the motherboard of the arcade stick, the PCB, we're gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna leave it right there. You can upgrade these PCBs, but that's not the goal of this project right now. Uh, the goal of the project is to get um, all these cords out. And all you have to do is gently but firmly pull these cords out. And sometimes you can't pull them out with your fingers, so you're gonna take some pliers that's where this Gerber's, this is what this Gerber's for. And we're gonna take this out with these pliers because I don't wanna hurt my fingers, dang on it. That kinda sucks. So now that I'm mic'd up better and I've done all this, I think I can flip this back on its side here. Oh, there's a few screws here. I didn't, man, I wonder where those screws came from. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna put them off on to the side here. <laughs> and that's what the, you, you're always caught off guard and caught by surprise when you're working on somebody else's stuff. Like, I don't know where those screws came from. There, there's more screws coming out of the, I don't know where, yeah. We'll figure that out a little bit later where some of these screws are coming from. Uh, all this is, is a metal plate, guys. And what we're gonna do with this metal plate, we're gonna pop these buttons out of the metal plate. Ah. I gotta twist it a little bit to loosen it up. So they're not glued in. They're just gonna be kinda difficult to get out because they've been in place for so long. And I don't know when this arcade stick first released. I can look that up a little bit later. But um, this is gonna be difficult to get out because they've been in there for so long. That's something you gotta worry about if you're redoing any of your arcade sticks. And that's why I like the,
That's why I like these, the, the screw on buttons because they don't hurt my fingers nowhere near as much. Now, do they have little devices and stuff like that to pop the buttons out? Yeah, they do. But man, it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to get a device to have to pop the buttons out. It shouldn't hurt that much. So boom, we got all the black buttons over there. We'll clean those up just a little bit. It's not gonna be a lot of cleaning, but it's gonna, it's gonna be enough cleaning. And then over here, these, this controller, this is the Hori arcade, sticks, arcade Stick piece. Remember, we gotta remember which direction we put it in. Boom, the, the little, little prongs there, they are on the right side. Let's take a picture just to remind us, just in case, because we don't wanna put it all together and then have to take it all apart. Look, I can't get it out. I can't get it out. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to hold it here, is make sure you got your pliers uh, like this, and then twist, and it comes right on off. That's not hard. All I have to do is hold it and twist it off. Uh, and we're making magic. Ah, boom, black ball top right there. Washer. That's something that can be cleaned. Boom. Put it in the little bucket there. And this bottom washer, all that one is there for is to make sure that there's no other particles that get into your lever. So we put that over there. And we're just going to, with this one, this lever doesn't look like it's been dirty. It has a little bit of particles, so we're just going to we're just gonna brush it off. Boom. There's not a lot to this one. And I don't advise taking apart your lever. There's some people like, yeah, just take the lever apart. No, it, you might as well just get a new lever. I don't think it's worth the effort to take apart your lever unless you really, really know what you're doing and want to get in there and like add a spring, you know, add a, you know, uh, a lever that you can take off and put back on. That's the only time I would do that. But boom, there it is. So now we just have the metal plate. It is now officially cleaning time. Let's clean this bad boy Let's clean this bad boy up. So, yeah. Let's clean it up. So we're going to take a little solution. We're going to take a little bit of this solution over here. Boom. And then we are going to scrub all this stuff and clean this bad boy up. And you see already this, this it looks nice and clean already. This isn't, again, it's not just water. Uh, that's, that's a little fun fact that soap is an illusion. Not in the sense that it doesn't work. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying soap is an illusion because you don't need bubbles for the agent in the soap to work. And that's what's kind of going on right here. I don't need, I don't need bubbles for this solution to work. Mm-mm-mm. Oh man, this is already looking like a like it just came out of the box. Put that right there. And then we're gonna take a harder brush with just regular water and really get in there and make sure this bad boy is really, really clean. Now we have two towels. I'm just gonna use this towel to be at the bottom. It's a micro it's one of those microfiber towels. It's not going to get all the water off. It's going to keep it there. It's freaking weird how those microfiber towels, it's good for wiping off dust, but not wiping up water. So I'm just going to put that down at the bottom, and then I'm going to take a regular towel and dry this bad boy off. And now it doesn't have any crud. I mean, yeah, there's little smudge pieces there, but um, overall, it's, it's clean. Maybe, well, hold on. There's little, yeah, there's little things here that I missed. Hmm. Let's try to let's try to let's try to scrub this one more time. Sometimes you might have to scrub it twice in in your refurbishing projects. So let's do that. I'm going to I'm going to scrub this one more time cuz I thought that we got some of the things off of there, but again, this is an older arcade stick. Like it seems like this is probably one of the original ones and that's probably what's going on with it and just has some old stains here that we need to get rid of. So boom there all right there 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 now let's wipe this now let's wipe it down all right yeah that's a little bit better that's a little bit better 
it was way better than what it was before, but it's even better now. So we got a refurbished arcade stick, metal. Um, this is metal. It's a metal like cover. There we go. I guess you, I guess that's what you can call it. A metal metal cover that goes over over that one spot. So now the next part of this is now that now that I've really seen what's in this, you probably could take some plexiglass and replace this metal cover. The the problem you might run into is making sure you have a, a thicker plexiglass to make sure it doesn't bow in the middle while you're playing the game or having two pieces of plexiglass so it doesn't um, so it doesn't bow and it doesn't curve as you're playing and it giving the giving it stress and the other part of that is also this part right this harness here um, you probably have to create a, another harness uh, for that or kind of going back to the two plexiglass idea you have the one plexiglass that holds it in place and then you have the other plexiglass on top and in the middle you have your design so there's multiple ways to skin a cat here and this is just the way um Hori decided to skin their cat so now we have this this is nice and clean ta-da we, we can officially move on look at that let's go and do this Let's take this out. Screwdriver's not too big, I hope. Um, and it is too big, so we're going to have to get another tool to make sure that this fits. Maybe, let me see my Gerber. My Gerber's there. It saves, it saves the day a lot. Let's see if this screwdriver piece right here is going to let me get to that screw. All right. I found a screwdriver. Don't ask your wife where screwdrivers go. She's gonna go, I don't know. All right, so let's let's do this. We're we're knocking this out. You just sometimes you just it's not that you forgot. It's that sometimes things come up and boom, you know. But, ah don't have the right screwdriver, that sucks. So make sure you have all the tools that you need ahead of time. And this is just a lesson learned for me. And with this being the first arcade stick um, of this nature that I, that I worked on. I worked on a lot of arcade sticks, but this is the first time of this one that I worked on. So, And so if you wanted to like clean this whole thing and dip it in water, submerge it, you're gonna have to cut that zip tie off. Um, but I'm not gonna go that far in my cleaning with this particular one. So let's go ahead and find that dryer brush. And we're gonna just brush all this crud out of here. Boom, and we're gonna brush off on the side and make sure that everything's good here. I mean, I probably could get, like I can get in this spot right here. You see there's a, there's a lot of crud there. But this one's the one that I'm most concerned. Oh, no, that comes off just fine. Just have something that, this is a little damp. It's not, it's not wet, but it's just, it's just a little damp. It's just a little damp. So we're going to just clean this off just like that. I can get, oh, that came, it's clean. It cleaned it up very nicely. Okay. And that's not damaging the controller either. That is really good. Uh, and so now there's, there's like literally no more crud in there. There's literally no more crud look at that that is nice that's all i had to do for that let me do it one more time just to be safe make sure it looks nice that makes me happy that that's all i had to do so now i guess we got to get in there to that harder one and that's what that toothbrush that's what the toothbrush is for the toothbrush is for getting the crud out of that one over here so let's clean that one up put that back like that again yeah, we don't need like this we don't need to go too far I mean it's still this this one's still in pretty get good to this we're probably gonna get some goo gone to get that off or see what we can do with that but outside of that um, I think we're good uh, let's take this toothbrush though let's get that let's get that crud out of that spot right get a little bit of the cleaning the shoe cleaning solution and let's clean that out right there and voila, it's, it's, that, it's that simple, folks. Now all I gotta do is dry it off. This is how you know I brush my teeth. This right here tells you that CJ 
brushes his teeth because he's doing such a good job of getting rid of all the crud. And you know what? I might as well get within these creases right here right now too. Let's do that. We're going to get in these creases just like that. And then we're going to we're going to wipe it all off. We're going to wipe it. Ooh. Ooh, there's little small little chunks. Ew, that's gross. But that's all right. That's part of the refurbishing process. The refurb the arcade stick refurb process. Uh. All right. So Boom, put that right there. Let's start wiping it down. All right, there you go. Boom, that looks really nice. That looks really good. And we're gonna get in this spot right here. Make sure it's dry. Do you use the same toothbrush? Yes, I do use the same toothbrush, buddy. <laughs> All right, I, wow. That, that looks really good. The, the kind of the, the before and after here looks, looks great. Wow. Let's see where else, what else we can do. We already saw the buttons. I don't think the buttons are bad, are bad off, but let's get, let's get, take the damp, the damper brush, the rougher brush, and let's, let's kind of give it a little scrub so the, the buttons aren't ashy anymore. So now, let's talk about these buttons. These, uh, this looks like a Sanwa button. These are really nice buttons here. Um, they're really good. A lot of people's like, should I replace my buttons? And the answer is, no, you don't have to unless you want a different color. Um, a lot of the buttons that you're using, um, it's about the cosmetic of the button more than it is that the one button is better than the other. Um, can you open these bad boys up? Yeah. Can you replace some of the springs and some of the parts within a button? Yeah. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I, I don't think it's worth Just buy a new button that, uh, that meets the specs that you need instead of, you know, taking it apart, putting it together, being upset with yourself that you can't get it back put together, stuff like that. You know, that, that's what I would say. So again, again these, are, these are my opinions. This is not necessarily, um, necessarily uh, a, a fact. This is just an opinion. And I, I think my, my opinion is pretty daggone valid. <laughs> I think my opinion is valid. There we go. That's all in there. All the stuff works. Boom, boom. That's the best we can do for now. Let's put on the next part. Let's put on the, let's put on the metal plate. Hmm. Too easy. Huh? This looks way nicer. It looks way better now that it's cleaned up. Um, we are ready to put the buttons in and then put the wiring back together on the buttons. And now with this, this is probably the simplest, the easiest thing that's there. Boom. Uh, and again, like I said, I don't mind the snap in buttons. However, I, man, I really do not like them at all. I'd rather have the screw in. Remember when I said take a picture of the, of the wires and cords? Now that's, that's what you need to do right now. You need to go back and refer back to those said wires and cords so that you can plug this in the right way. So I have this one right here. Um, I can see everything on my phone. Boom, see, I took a picture of it. I have it right here on my phone. And now I can refer to the stuff that I have on my phone. That's just a little fun tip. A little arcade stick <laughs> builder tip uh, or refurbisher tip. Just take a picture of what, you, of what you had before and make sure that you can put your cords back where they're supposed to go. And I think that I think that's super fair. It's, it's super smart. It's very smart. There, we are done with that part, and we can flip it over. And as you see, it's centered. It's right there, and we put the lever on the the other washer on. Then we have a lever cover that we'll put on there as well. Boom, 
and now we can put the ball top back onto here. So this is what you have to do with your ball top. You're going to have to twist it on. You twist it on, and then after you twist it on, you're going to take, you're going to take your pliers again. Make sure you take your, your knife and shove it back into your, <laughs> your Gerber here. You're going to take that. You're going to hold it upright. You're going to hold the bottom. See this part right here? You're going to hold that part right there. Move out of the way, blue cord. You're going to take that part right here, that little knob right there, and you're going to hold on to it. And as you're holding on to that little knob there, you're going to firmly twist your PCB. Now, I say PCB, your ball top. I'm sorry. You're going to firmly turn your ball top. Because what happens is as you're playing the game, if it's not in there tight, your ball top is going to start untwisting and it's going to fall off. It sucks, but kind of is what it is. Oh, that's a good deal. That is a good deal. Let's go Titans. All right, so now on the undercarriage here, we're going to make sure all the wires are in a good place, which it looks like they are. There you go. You can see the wires. Um, we're going to make sure that main cord is out of the way. And then uh, the PCB is in place. Um, every, every, it looks like everything is good. Now we're going to flip on this side, make sure everything's good here, and it looks like everything's good here. We're going to take the door cover of the arcade stick, and we are going to put it in here as well. Well, there's a little water on here. I'm going to wipe that water off. Boom, boom. Ah, that's good. Huh? And now that we've done that, we're going to leave the cord out. Now we can put the we can put the metal plate bottom back onto the arcade stick. We don't have to clean the bottom off. The, the bottom looked it already looked good. Already looked good. Let's twist. Let's twist these back on. The block lever three a grab. We can look at it and see if it's a grab or not. If there's anything wrong with that. All right, so now. Is anything, I'm just trying to make sure that everything's in order here. And let's, it was the, that was the sound. I was like, what's making that weird sound? It was the, it was the, it was the door, little door here. Close that door. No sounds are being made. All right, so now let's turn on Street Fighter. And hopefully it doesn't do what it did last time. I was pretty annoyed by that last time when it was trying to, um, when it was trying to freaking, um, when I was trying to play, I was like, what's, what's going on? What's happening? And Street Fighter, it just didn't want to work. Look at the control settings by hitting this. And it looks like we can edit it. Yep, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Huh? Huh? We are good. We are officially good. And we're going to save these changes. Let's see what we can do now. We're going to we're going to pick Ryu. Of course, he's one of my favorites. He's going to beat up on Jamie. Let's see if he uh, we can make some magic happen with Ryu using this new, this refurbished, not new, refurbished Hori Real Arcade Pro. Oh, wait, what are you doing, Jamie? Wait, wait, wait. No, I just want to beat up on you. I don't want you to beat up on me. Let's turn you back into a dummy. There you go. Oh, yeah, that works out great. We're doing some stuff here. Let's see if we can get the... Okay, we got some stuff going. I have a hard time doing stuff on the right side. There we go. We're making some magic happen. Let's see if we can do the super. We can do the super, so everything works just fine. We got the KO there. Yay! So, there you have it. There you have it, the 
the Hori has been cleaned up quite a bit. I think maybe we can put a little polish to it, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's what he wanted. He just wanted to make sure that his arcade stick was capable of still being used and not all dirty and cruddy. Uh, could we probably do a couple other things with this arcade stick? Yeah, sure, whatever. But I don't know if it, I don't know if it's worth it or not. Um, I, I think especially the, the the things that are out right now for an arcade stick that's older that only goes for a PS4 and PS3. I think this is an arcade stick that you possibly can pass up on and probably get some something that's a little bit more new for for a better price. Um, but yeah, tell me if you already got one of these bad boys. Have you have you done any maintenance on it? Have you switched out your lever? Have you switched out any buttons? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you've done. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next time. Peace out.